time that you can have fun and you can just be yourself and everyone likes that. And I just kind of grew into like, I knew this is where I belong. I volunteered at my first show and I was like, wow, this is cool. I've never been to a venue with that awesome art gallery. And I heard there's a silk screen studio. Because I used to come here to silk screen. Um, and I, I always thought that's awesome that they do you know, open sessions um, for people to do silk screen projects. They just throw you into working and you you just you just want to learn more and you just want to like, give your best, like give all that you can. Oh gosh. There is like the one place in all of Seattle where I go and I'm not gonna run into problems everywhere I turn. You know, I can really relate to these people because we all have something in common. I just love all these people that I've met here. And in such a short time, they accepted me. I feel like I've grown a lot. I've made a lot of friends. I met my girlfriend through here. She was in one of the bands that uh, I helped be sound for. A bunch of my friends, like that volunteer of members now, found out about this coming to shows here. They're like, wow, this is so cool. And they wanted to be a part of it. There have been all these bands uh, that I'm friends with and stuff that I, I really wanted to play Vera. So I, I decided to become a member uh, so I could be on the Veracity Committee and kind of have a little bit of a say in who gets to play here. I had to do a mid-show announcement. I was so freaked out about this. And everyone was like, no, no, Haley, you're going to be great. You're going to be great. And I did my mid-show announcement. And then the next couple days, I got emails from like Beth and Dustin and a couple other people saying, wow, Haley, that announcement was really great. Like, that, you did it really well. You were really good at this. That's the most interest someone's taken take into like something that I've done well. Like booking shows was like this whole other dimension to me. Like I had no idea how that process went. And then like once I actually kind of did it, it was like, oh, that wasn't that hard. I could totally just do this. I never thought I'd be in this place helping and looking at a budget for a nonprofit in a venue. I was like, wow, this is, this is really cool. This place has changed me a lot. I've made so many connections and I've jammed with people at their houses through here. I know it's really cheesy, but Vera's really part of my family. What stays in my mind a lot is how we all came together as a family. I just know people better. I know what I want to do more in life. I know more about myself. Like, everyone's always here to help me, and everyone's always here to give me advice, and tell me that it's okay to be who I am. Not bad that I say things the way I do or that I like the things that I like. Whereas outside in school and at home and stuff, I get a lot of that. And Vera's always just been a really nice, like, second home. Around the same time, I managed to pick up 
up an internship in Vera, and also start to book shows uh, as the chair of Veracity, and it's really helped me along the way. I've made some really close friends, and I've met, also met some really great bands and awesome people, as well as engage and connect other young people through our music. And I feel like all of these things have contributed to how the Vera Project has given me a foundation to finally feel okay with myself for the first time since experiencing what the real world was. Vera brings so many different kinds of people with various experiences and backgrounds, and we're all here because we have a huge passion for the same thing, and that's to grow and find out who we are in the same space. Thank you to every single person in this room who has shown interest in the Vera Project, and I hope you continue to support my home.